Hi everybody, Ellie Schultz here with Miles Simmons and Spencer Joy doing a quick recap of the 2012 football season. Um, Lions finished three and seven this year. Uh, a little bit of an improvement over the one and one mm-hmm. and nine finish uh, a year ago. Um, you know, Mangurian uh, seems to have things at least starting to head in the right direction here. Um, I guess we could start by talking about the quartet of Columbia players that were uh, named to all Ivy teams this year. Miles, you want to go over that? Yeah, sure. Well, the Lions had four guys that were named all Ivy. The defensive lineman Josh Martin, running back uh, Mark Horace Garrett were both named to the first team. Mm-hmm. A linebacker Zach Ollinger, who's a junior, he was named to the second team. And then a senior linebacker Mike Waller was named to uh, honorable mention for all Ivy. So it was really nice to have some of those Lions uh, mm-hmm. get the recognition they deserved. Um, and uh, I think a convincing argument could definitely be made that uh, junior Zach Ollinger, who uh, got second team honors, like you mentioned, uh, could have, pop- I think, uh, had, had what it took to be on first team. Uh, mm-hmm. He was a big force for the Lions all year. You know, uh, Spencer made a lot of big tackles all year. Yeah, he was a tackling machine. Yeah, and uh, a couple of big picks, especially early in the year. Um, I remember, like, a, a big one against Lehigh comes to mind. Um, and then, I guess, also against Cornelli had a big pick uh, yes, that's at right. the end of the game there as well. Um, and then, of course, Josh Martin, uh, senior defensive lineman, huge for the Lions all year um, on the uh, front seven there. And uh, Garrett also had a great year. Yeah. Um, but the Lions also had a, a couple of um, young guys emerge, especially in the receiving core uh, as the season uh, went along here. Um, Chris Connors, especially, uh, Absolutely. really, really came along. Uh, and, freshman out of Cleveland, Ohio, I mean, he did a lot of great things, made a lot of great catches. Absolutely. You know, especially in that Cornell game, he had that diving catch. Uh, in the end zone, so I mean, he is one of the guys that you can look forward to seeing for a couple years to come and making some big numbers. As is Connor Elgin, he's the Lions' leading receiver. He really emerged as a great right. possession receiver, made play after play, especially on third downs. It mm-hmm. seemed like he's gonna. I think he's gonna be the leader for the receiving core next year. Yeah, and uh, especially uh, early in the season when the Lions were dropping pass after pass after pass, yeah. um, it's good to see that now they've uh, you know gotten established mm-hmm. some rhythm, especially that uh, it's with these younger guys. Um, Ryan Flannery, freshman, another uh, yep. big guy that's made some plays for the Lions, and um, yeah, the, definitely a lot to look forward to there. Um, I guess also uh, it's worth mentioning Isaiah Gross, who we, uh, we haven't seen in a while. He's been mm-hmm. hurt, um, had trouble staying healthy his rookie, uh, his freshman season yeah. here, but... Uh, Early in the year, made some really impressive catches. Um, actually, had a New Orleans Saints scout in the press box who uh, was right. a little impressed by uh, That's right. well, what uh, Fresh Air had to offer um, in the first couple <laughs> games there. Um, yeah, so uh, definitely a lot to, to look forward to from the receiving core. Um, in terms of uh, weaknesses, I guess um, I think you guys would probably agree that the, the biggest weakness that this team had last year was on the offensive line. Yeah, and there really was one play that was emblematic of that at Harvard. Uh, Billy Lawrence got blown up in 99 at Harvard. I mean, that one was just... And that was emblematic yeah. of what happened with the Lions all season. They gave up 40 sacks, and that's the last thing they need. And so that is definitely something they're going to have to show up next year, especially with a young guy at quarterback. Right. Um, yeah, another thing they're going to have to shore up was actually the strength of this year's team, which was the front defensive front seven. Right. They're losing five of six uh, starters off that, or six of seven, I'm sorry, starters off that, mm-hmm. the front seven, and it was really the strength of the entire team, and they're going to have to find some way to replace those guys. Right. Uh, Waller gone, uh, Josh Martin also graduating as Ryan Murphy, so and then uh, yeah, a couple other guys, so um, definitely uh, need, to, need to patch that up, um, either from within or via recruiting. Um, I know Coach Van Green's definitely stressed that offensive line will be a, a focus of recruiting this mm-hmm. offseason, um, especially pass protection, I think, is something that yeah. really needs to improve. But um, anyway, a lot, lot to look forward to next season. Um, got a lot of young guys and veteran leaders, a good combination. Uh, definitely uh, could make some noise in the Ivy League next season. Um, also, uh, be sure to check out our In the Zone postgame shows for basketball. Uh, it's definitely shaping up to be an exciting year on the hard court for That's the light and blue. Um, Lions have had a couple of exciting wins already, so uh, keep your eye out for that. And um, other than that, it's been a great year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in 2013.